it looks crazy. Yeah, weird lift stuff. Woo! And then as I near the ground, I didn't time that right, but... No! Oh, <laughs> oh no! no! Flaps come down once you land. All the wires go in through here. And then they just come out this tiny little hole in the bottom, which is great. Uh, also, I like the, the control line linkage management on the flap. So once it's all closed up, you actually won't be able to see much of all of the servo mechanism, which is going to look really clean. Small problem. I uh, did this fold over, which looks pretty clean for the most part, except back here, there's a big gap. This bevel back here is just a little too shallow. So it held the foam off of that. And I didn't see that because I had these all closed when I was gluing this up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cut off the bevel and then I'm gonna peel this off, probably use the knife to help free it up and re-glue that part and close up that gap. It's all done now. We covered up the whole wing and uh, all the electronics are set up. All right, well, um, we have about 24 hours until the airplane's supposed to fly. And I drew up some really quick fuselage plans. So here we go, let's hope they all work. Prepare to fire the laser. I just printed out all the vertical stab pieces and uh, yeah, we're moving along at a steady pace. Okay, so the back of the airplane, I'm really happy with. I think it looks fantastic. Now, the front of the airplane, I, uh, I dropped the ball a little bit. Luckily, it's only masking taped on there because I was suspicious that it would look ugly. So I've redesigned it for something that I think is gonna look much better. Here's the new front end. I think it looks much better. I'm just working on cutting the cowling that goes right over here. So yeah, here's the fuselage, wings right here. Eh. Eh. Here we go, sits right on top. All right, just finished up laying out all the electronics. We got the two antennas at, 40, at 90 degrees off of each other. We got the receiver, eight channels, got the reversing 40 amp ESC, got the motor from Amazon that was 20 bucks, got the battery, and it all balances pretty much right where it's supposed to. So we are doing very well for ourselves right now. All right, we got her all pretty much done. We got the hatch in and everything, the gear screwed through to a wooden plate so it doesn't rip out. Time to see how much she weighs. 650-ish grams. That's pretty good. All right, here it is. The wing's just sitting on top of it right now because I still have to figure out if I want to make it removable or not, but here it is in all of its glory. And ready to go fly, and I'm only an hour late. So to get the battery in, you gotta oh, yeah, flip it's it over. Oh yeah, a real surgical operation. You gotta give it belly rubs. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? The situation where it's like impossible to plug it in because I can't fit both hands in. And it's very stiff. Instead of putting it here and then finagling around inside of the airplane, I'll just plug it in first. Then, oh, it's gonna be so much easier. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Excellent. Oh, that's, okay. that's what you said. <sighs> okay. Oh, oh, I wanna like just, just a little Hold on, bit. I know I gotta pick it up. Throttle test. Oh, right. Uh, and then we'll test the other way. That's reverse thrust for you. Yeah, reverse thrust. Plugging in all the servos for the fancy schmancy wings here. There's the last one. Excellent. Three for three. Yeah, I plugged them all in in the right order, which literally isn't supposed to happen. So what do all these things do? Why? Why would you do this? Uh, okay, so yeah, here's the here's the theory. Folks, pay attention because I'm only going to say this probably three more times in the videos. There's two uh, main types of control surface on this aircraft. There are spoilers and there are oh flaps. The spoilers and the flaps do different, do opposite things, essentially. What the flaps do is as they go down, they basically start acting as a second wing that's at a higher angle of attack and they produce more lift, okay? And this slot here lets air in from the bottom over the top to energize the flaps, okay? The spoilers 
what they do is when they go up, they stop air from traveling smoothly over the top of the wing. And most of the lift of a wing is produced by the air going over the top of it, not the air on the bottom. So this interruption of the air going over the top kills all the lift on this wing. And that's your aileron? Yeah. So to roll, I just kill the lift on one wing or the other wing. And then I have a special mode on my radio where if I put it into this flight mode, basically the bottom half of my throttle, as I throttle up, the spoilers slowly go down. If my throttle stick is at the halfway position, the engine's off and the spoilers are in. If I throttle up, the engine will turn on like normal. But if I throttle down, the engine will stay off, but the spoilers will slowly go up. And so this means that when I'm on approach, I can basically use my throttle to control how steeply I'm descending. If I throttle up, I'll use power and I'll descend very gradually. And if I throttle down, the spoilers will come out and I'll start falling out of the sky. So that's, that's the theory. Uh, I don't know if it flies, so we'll have to do that part first. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. I'm gonna cut that. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, now, now, gonna be, oh, now my foot is ruined. I hope the elevator is big enough. All right, all right. Okay, here we go. All go right. for it. Here goes nothing. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be great. Okay. This is gonna be oh, the wait, best wait, one yet. Oh, all right. I oh, you didn't that. loosen the wheels. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh. Like there was ever a doubt. Oh, it flies it excellently. Try, try dropping out of the air like you're still a landing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe just like fly it in the middle of the envelope and then gracefully expand to the edges. It's actually a match. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, it is so oh. slow. I got to daylight through the way. Mission success. Is that normal, dude? Oh, dude. Spoilers, yeah. Ryan, what do you have to say about this? Well, we'll find out. I'm putting it into flight mode two. Okay, so now when I reduce the throttle, let's see what happens. Oh, and actually pretty disappointing amount happens. Are the spoilers up? Oh, they aren't up. You may be experiencing blowdown, or maybe you didn't push the button good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't push the button good. That's the, that's the issue. Problem in between chair and keyboard. <laughs> yeah, okay, now the mix is on. What I really want to know is what happens if I dump the flaps Oh my god, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, and then... That's some pretty serious delta for an RC plane, I gotta say. Okay, then we do this. Ooh. And now Without let's say I'm speed. about to land. Without picking up speed. And there's the landing. Ooh. Yeah. That's still also, some good sync rate, though. You're for almost half your wing. Yeah, the wing, yeah, it really is noticeable, on. you know, when it's flying around. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna land there. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It flies great. For how much of a brick it is, it flies like it weighs half of what it does. It's all that lift, I guess. It's all the flat. The flaps actually work like they're supposed to. I'm very happy with the performance of the aircraft. Very glad. It overpowers everything. All right, Bulls, what's the plan? I'm going to interview this very experienced man about his very nice airplane. So I didn't ever really explain this in the video when we were at the airfield. Part of the purpose of this airplane was I was engaged in a little bit of a friendly competition with the local master builder. Brian's been doing this for years and years and years, and he's a master at building light and building planes that fly slow. It's, this plane is called M79, and it's because it's the 79th airplane he's built. So do it. It's pretty, it's pretty nuts. He's really good. Yes. What you up to? On the last screw. On the last screw. Very good. A couple good. of rubber bands for the landing. Here. Would you mind telling us about your airplane real quick before you wipe the floor with it? <laughs> no, Zach is going to wipe the floor. Oh, right, right. He's, he's outsourced the piloting job to a pilot who's much better than me. And he's built it and he's much better at building than me. I am so screwed. So it's over. So cooked. Okay, you see on this edge? Wait. The leaning edge between this surface and this surface is that much area. You notice on this one with the uh, leaning edge drop, yeah. there's a greater volume coming in. It's sharp here to try to grab as much air over the top as I possibly can. This is deployed with a larger air mass coming in and a smaller air mass coming out to try to increase the velocity going over. And that, that surface moves, right, Brian? This is up, that's down. How much does this guy weigh? I would say, what do you think? 
Oh, maybe like two kilos, if that. Okay. Not much, that's for sure. My, my <laughs> weight is one kilogram, and my plane is way smaller. So, uh, yeah, it's going okay, to be tough. Yeah, we do the wheelie, man. <laughs> Notice the tail is not touching. Are you flying the tail? Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. That's, look at that. Very cool. Okay. Do airplane mode. Do airplane mode? Yeah. What's, What's the fun in that? What is this? I don't feel a huge change. Like, here's... They're okay. up. Okay. Nice. Here's down. Ah! The tail's wiggling. Yeah. I don't think you're, you're at the ragged edge now. Buddy. It's happy. That's so nice. You should be able to point straight into the air from there. Mm. Yep. Nice. I think, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, you were landing? Blow them off. Found the landing anyway. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man. Yeah yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh, oh I think we might have a winner, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But also. Oh. oh. Yeah, a little oh. wing up there, man. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right on the ragged edge. But also, just, oh. you could just... Oh, I broke it. Wait, don't push it down. Just cover it. Brian's clearly still the winner, just barely. We're, it was close, though. We'll, uh, we'll get him next time. So this is half flaps. Into the wind. Well, I can see why Brian wanted to outsource it to you. It really does make a huge difference when you fly it than when I fly it. Oh, yeah, dude, no problem. <laughs> it torques like crazy. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it climbs out too. Nice. Look so at that I'm descent just rate. Nose, I'm, as much alpha as I can before it'll bite, basically. Okay. See that? Look at wow. that sink rate. Isn't that awesome? And then as I get close. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta try that one more time. Final attempt. That, is that I'm still on? pulling, I'm still pulling, I'm still pulling. That's full up elevator. Look at that, dude. Look at that! That's nuts. And then as I near the ground, I didn't time that right, but... No! Oh, <laughs> oh no! no! We're okay. so close! So, landing gear. I'm not doing too high. Yeah, they're all wobbly. Every time I land, the gear bends back a little more. You can see the track of it slowly working its way up. So I just tied... Uh, some string, basically it's got like a silly color, but whatever. Uh, so through the second hole in the landing gear, and then it makes a Y harness, and there's a Y harness around the motor mount, and then I tied them together real tight. So yeah, that's, we'll see if that helps. It's a lot more, less bendy back now, so hopefully that'll do the trick. Just plumped into the ground. The motor cowling here is... Yeah. Some final thoughts on the airplane. Everything went great today. I'm gonna change the mix on the flaps so full flaps is a little bit less flaps, which I'm hoping will help with the stalling problem. Instead of having the like radial type looking thing, I'm gonna kind of just make a very small opening that should hopefully look a little sleeker. And another benefit of not having the radial thing is if you do nose over, it won't just... Yeah, it won't crunch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah.